Before we see the inside guts of the QX100, here's a quick look at the outside. The sides feature a 36 times zoom control lever, a button to take photos directly from the lens style camera, and a port supporting USB 2 connections, along with a memory card slot, which is compatible with Memory Stick Micro, Micro SD memory cards, and Micro SDHC memory cards. Rotating the camera shows a power switch, a display showing remaining battery life and if a memory stick is present, the camera on off button, and the NFC connection point. There is an outside ring for manual focusing and zoom control, as well as one external built-in stereo microphone for MP4 video. The bottom of the camera has an adjustable smartphone clip and tripod socket. Removing this clip reveals the battery port for the Info Lithium Ion NPBN 3.6 volt battery. You can see the ID and pass for wireless connection printed on the back of the battery lid. The external casing of the camera is plastic coated with soft touch paint. This helps support the NFC antenna functionality. All right, so let's open this camera up. The first step is the removal of the bottom plate. It's held together with five screws. After detaching the ribbon, the casing can now be removed. After additional screws and disconnecting the speaker wires, the battery component is removed from the main body, showing an aluminum heat shield. Because the components are stacked, this shield helps dissipate the heat coming from the image sensor power. Lifting this off shows the main motherboard. After the disconnection of additional ribbons and releasing the tripod base and removing the memory connector lock, we're able to remove the motherboard. The motherboard features a BIONS image processor. The backside shows the image slot and supporting connector. Removing the motherboard releases an additional housing layer revealing the main body's connector ribbons. Here you can more clearly see the lens motor. Lifting an additional heat plate reveals the final heat protector made from copper. Next, we remove the lens motor and disconnect the main lens ribbon. After the copper heat protector is removed, there are three additional screws and we can now see the image sensor. The image sensor is a 20 megapixel, one inch Exmor R CMOS sensor. Lifting the remaining body reveals a Carl Zeiss Vario Sonar T lens. Surrounding the lens are three washers along the top left and right sides. The washers surround the image sensor to keep the light evenly distributed and properly aligned. Below the lens features a gold ribbon, which is the optical steady shot, image stabilization function featuring a metal object controlled through magnetic pieces. There are a couple of different kinds of screws in the assembly. These screws are designed specifically for plastic, having more spaced out rings in order to maintain the plastic form during an assembly and disassembly process. Screws attaching to metal are designed slightly differently. In the QX100, there is also one copper screw. Copper screws are used for charge balance. All Sony cameras have at least one in their assembly. And there you have it, one Sony QX100 lens style camera, one badass engineer, plus a few of us drooling over the parts with our camera, equals one Sony QX100 teardown. You can get your hands on a QX100 today, and for more product first looks and teardowns, head to youtube.com signal.